What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm playing a Flygon slash Serilege team made by Crusadia. Flygon is a really cool mon that doesn't get much use. This one is a special attacker, Draco Earth Power, and it also has Tailwind, so it provides the speed control for the team. Serilege is also a very cool mod that doesn't get much use, though I guess it gets a little bit more use than Flygon. You never see a Flygon. Some of you are probably like, wait, Flygon's in the game? Uh, anyway, this is a bulk up Poltergeist Bitterblade Protect Serilege with Clear Amulet and Terra Grass, Flash Fire. Flash Fire plus Terra Grass is a great combo, and Bulking Up plus Bitterblade is a great combo. And then we have two redirectors and a fake out to support this Serilege. We got Amoongus with Rage Powder and Covert Cloak, which is nice. We got Clefable with Follow Me and just Unaware, and Safety Goggles, which I like that adaptation. And just Rillaboom is just a Rillaboom, has high horsepower. And also Meteor Beam Glamora. Now, Meteor Beam is not a move I'm a super big fan of, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, but also this Glamora has Terra Grass Energy Ball, instead of like, it usually would have Earth Power. So keep that in mind if you use the team. Uh, but anyways, thank you very much Crusadia for making this team. Let's jump on into these battles. All right, we've got a Tailwind team. They've got Whimsicott and Ursaluna and Typhlosion. Those are pretty common together. They've also got Archaladon, probably Sturdy Power Herb. A Flamigo, which is probably not the co-star, it's probably the Scrappy variant. And Rillaboom, just like us. Serilege is fantastic into Typhlosion. I love that. Ursaluna, not so much. Glamora, we would have to call Terra. Rillaboom is pretty good into the Ursa Luna, but not the Archaladon. So I think I need to lead Serilege just in case it's a Typhlosion lead. They don't really have anything to block Fake Out, so I could Fake Out the Ursa Luna and get some stuff going that way. I think that's going to be my lead. Flygon to match Tailwind, but I'm going to delay it. If I can delay matching Tailwind, just put up Tailwind a little later, I think that would be better. And then finally, maybe something else that can take an Eruption, maybe something that can take a Hyper Voice or a Blood Moon. Maybe just Clefable. Maybe something that can hit our Chaladon. Do we have Earth Power? What do we have? Maybe, no, that doesn't really hit our Chaladon. I guess Clefable's pretty good with Unaware, redirecting moves. Yeah. That's what I'm going to go with. It's good. Into the Flamigo as well. Redirect any close combats coming our way. After we uh, Terra our Cerulege. Oh, Mew! Cool. Decent card there. It is Typhlosion lead. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. It's not exactly what Rillaboom wanted to see. But it's exactly what... I led Sarah Ledge for. Now, do I go straight swinging or do I bulk up? No, I can't bulk up. I need to start swinging. Because I can get Encored. Uh, do I just burn Terra on Rillaboom now? I don't see a problem with that. If I Bitter Blade here and just Terra Fire High Horsepower. I mean, I guess I could get hit by Shadow Ball. I think it's fine. Bitter Blade, Terra Fire, High Horsepower. Yeah, I, I guess Shadow Ball would be pretty bad. I think we can eat one, though. Silver Ledge has great special defense. Unless you're running maybe Specs. But you also have to be aware that maybe I Terrasalize. And maybe you just go after Rilla when you're like, hey, free Rilla. I'll just still erupt. Whatever. Yeah, they set Tailwind. They were faster anyway. And it's Heat Wave. That's beautiful. That's exactly what I was hoping to see. Actually, I was thinking it would be Eruption, but that's even better. Bitter Blade. Do we get a KO? We do. Okay, that's beautiful. I guess they were worried about, like, Shadow Sneak weakening their uh, Eruption. High horsepower connects. Typhlosion lives at 1 HP. I'm cool with that. Honestly, you being in grassy glide range might be better than letting you get two things in that aren't. It's gotta be Ursaluna going for earth powers now, right? Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> we could swap in Flygon over there, actually. Yeah, I, I think the Earth Power is going at Sarah Ledge, so I want to bring Flygon in there. And wood hammer their Ursaluna. I don't I don't I don't see them going straight after our Rillaboom. Yeah, Typhlosion just swaps anyway. Into Archaladon. Okay. I didn't bother grassy gliding your Archaladon. That would have been a waste. Which I think based on that play, I think they are going for Earth Power into my Sarah Ledge. They're gonna Terra, that's probably just defensively. They don't wanna take full damage from a grass move just in case. Not gonna lie though, this is scary. Hyper Voice. Oh, we can eat a Hyper Voice. It's it's much worse than I expected, but Rillaboom still will eat. And their Life Orb, okay. Pretty normal. That might be Grassy Glide range, honestly. I'm gonna say that's Grassy Glide range, and go for Grassy Glide. And then I will match Tailwind with my Flygon, if I'm allowed to. Because if they could, like, they could protect and then try to remove my Rillaboom. And if they do that, I get Tailwind up, and then it's like, okay. Great. I really hope counting on Grassy Glide here, though. Oh no! It doesn't take it! Ah! Okay, they took out Flygon anyway. We're gonna take out their Ursa Luna. They're gonna have a low health Typhlosion. We're gonna have Clefable with no Terra in the, in the face of Flash Cannon though. That is annoying. Okay. Well. We have to take out the Typhlosion. Cause it's gonna lock into a ghost move. And I don't know if Icy Wind can do it. <laughs> yeah, I really don't think Icy Wind can do it. Um, what's the I wonder if we can just Icy Wind protect. Depends on like the speed tiers, if our Sarah Ledge can get faster than them. Cause this should be. Tailwind runs out this turn. Cerulege, 119. Unless there's Scarf. Yeah, Icy Wind will do it. So I'm gonna Icy Wind Protect. So I think they have to Shadow Ball. They do Shadow Ball. Great. Good to call that. And it is Flash Cannon, but like that's not gonna Oko. Does a lot though. Alright, we get the speed drops. That's perfect. Tailwind will end now. Now if they are Scarf. I guess we have to redirect it, but if they're not Scarf, maybe we're fine? If they're not Scarf, I can just knock them out with Sarah Ledge now. That's the question. Are they Scarf? I'm kind of scared to find out. Uh, I guess I could protect Clefable one turn. I think they might. I'm saying they're not Scarf. Protect Clefable. Take out Typhlosion. Yeah, they're not Scarf. Good. Good, good, good. Now I'm definitely expecting a Flash Cannon into Clefable here. Perfect.
And then I think my best bet is to get one bulk up off before I start hitting this thing. That way I, I'm healing off a lot of damage, plus I'm faster than it anyway. So I'm gonna go with follow me. Is my Clefable faster? Should have paid attention to the grass. But either way, I, I want to click... I want to click follow me anyway and bulk up. Because they could go for power or me, uh, electro shot here. Oh, free bulk up. Thank you. Thank you. That's beautiful. Sarah Led, you got this. You totally got this. Yeah, I'm gonna pr just protect the fable now. Nah. I'm gonna follow me Bitter Blade now. Bitter Blade just because it doesn't miss. The Polter Poltergeist is stronger, but Bitter Blade doesn't miss. Good, it does half. That's perfect. And they are, in fact, not stamina. They flash cannon, so yeah, I didn't need to follow me there, but it's fine. We got this locked up. Nice and pretty. Bitter Blade. Goodbye. Such a cool move. Bitter Blade is like the best signature move in this game. Um, maybe. It's just such a sick move overall. Anyway, GG. Good card. All right, Murkrow, ooh, Sneasler, Malindidi, Dragapult. Hisuian Decidueye, Hisuian Typhlosion. Three months from Hisui on that team. Okay. Sneasler is always so annoying, but, oh, and they also have their own Tailwind. And they have Terrain, and they have Typhlosion, <laughs> and they have Dragapult, which is scary. Okay. What if I do Serral Edge Clefable? I get Expanding Force. But if I have Rillaboom in the back, I don't. And then Flygon for Tailwind support? Flygon's pretty fast compared to most of their team. And getting a Tailwind up could be good. They might think they don't need their own. Serral Edge can do big damage into pretty much anything. Fable to keep it safe. Would Amoongus be better to keep it safe? No, because Amoongus will just get Expanding Forest even harder. I gotta cover for the Typhlosion lead with Murkrow, too. They've got so many strong Pokemon. But they're very offensive, frail Pokemon. So if I can trip them up for, like, one turn, take a big KO, that's what I gotta do. Good card. Yeah, catch them off balance. Like, like, they're gonna play hyper offensively, and they might just steamroll me if they click the right buttons every turn. Okay, I like this lead, though. This is a very easy follow me poltergeist. Um, I guess they could Phantom Force and Taunt. That would be bad. I think I could bulk up, though. Yeah, I'm gonna bulk up Follow Me. They're going straight for a Terra. Maybe it's defensive, they don't want to get Ghost moved right away. Maybe it's offensive, they want a Terra Blast right away. Yeah, it's offensive. They're gonna go straight for Terra Blast. That's not gonna KO with the Fable. So I'm gonna get a bulk up off of here. Uh, I guess my fear is they do taunt. Oh, they're going for an attack. There's no way this knocks out a Clefable, right? Nah. Plus Foul Play ain't gonna do it. And I'm faster than your Murkrow, which is cool. <laughs> that did nothing. Cool. 
So now they Terra Blast, Foul Play again. I need to Terra to take the Foul Play well. And I move before Murkrow, so there's no point in trying to go for Bitter Blade. Follow me in Poltergeist. With Terra, just so that I can take the Foul Play better. Because the Foul Play is still gonna hurt. Our attack boost and our defense boost cancel each other out, but we have a decently high attack stat, decently low defense stat. Foul Play is strong when it's coming off of Stab. Alright, but we should trade Clefable for Dragapult here. And their Terra, importantly. And knowing we're faster than Murkrow is pretty cool. Uh, I guess that makes us a little vulnerable to sneeze. Yeah, they were choice banned. That makes sense based on the damage. Goodbye, Dragapult. Get up out of here. Yeah, Sneezler is probably what they bring in next. How much? Over half! That's bad. Uh, gotta be Flygon. Probably gonna try to Tailwind. I think is my play. You have to go in Sneasler. Their options are to Tailwind or bring in their Terrain. Cause I don't want to bring Rillaboom straight in to go for like a fake out turn, even though that would be amazing. Because they have Indeedee. Oh, they brought Indeedee right in? I could have brought Rillaboom in there. Alright, then I Bitter Blade your Indeedee and bring in Rillaboom to turn off your terrain. Get some health back from that. Probably can't knock me out. Like you could t you should tailwind here. Bitter blade. Bring in Rillaboom. And if you want to swap your Indeedee out here, I mean sure, take a free hit on something else. You also have to select the correct target. Like, if you try to Expanding Force in, and you click the Flygon slot, now Sarah Ledge is free from any damage anyway. Yeah, they do Tailwind. I figured that. Expanding Force. They select the correct target. They're not strong enough, though. Perfect. Are you Sash, then? Yeah. Alright. They're Sash. They can get their terrain back if they try really hard. I think I can go for Bitter Blade there and fake out the Murkrow. If they swap out into Sneasler, they're taking a big hit. If they stay in, they can't double my Sarah Ledge. Yeah, and if I get to keep my terrain, that would be fantastic. So yeah, you go ahead and swap. Don't care. I'll give you another a turn of terrain later to take out your Sneasler. Are you going to take a plus one Bitter Blade? I don't know. Oh, they're Pressure? I thought they would be Psychic Seed this whole time. Okay. I wonder if that was a error? They are gone. That's perfect. That is so good. All the way back up to full. Thank you very much. I think I need to protect and bring in Flygon here. If I get rid of their terrain, I can Grassy Glide the Indeedee later. Nothing wrong with just protecting, bringing in Flygon. And then we saw how, we saw how much foul play and we saw how much Expanding Force does to Sarah Ledge, so without a crit, we bring Rillaboom back. I don't think they can KO us. The question is, do I give up the bulk up and bring Rillaboom in on that slot? Oh. Oh, they KO'd Flygon. You gave me Rillaboom back for free. That wasn't a good idea. 
Sorry, Flygon. Like, I keep trying to use you in this battle, but you keep having to leave. <laughs> For one reason or another. This is Seraledge time now. Uh, they already used Terra, we know. So I just Bitter Blade this way. Grassy Glide the Indeedy. They need to crit foul play into my Sarah Ledge to still be in it. They need a critical hit Oko onto Sarah Ledge. And that's what they go for. It's not what they get. And almost enough to take out Murkrow. Okay, good to know. But enough to be out of foul play range. And also Tailwind's about to end, so Sarah Ledge is going to move first. And take them out. I guess there's no reason not to go for a fake out turn here. Oh, <laughs> battle's canceled. I, I just go and fake out just so Sarah Ledge could get the final KO. GG. All right, here we are versus Sneasler Dragapult with Rillaboom, Primarina, King Gambit, Magmar. Magmar is cool. So it's probably Grassy Seed Sneasler. Dragapult's fast. King Gambit has. Oh, King Gambit's rough. For our Sarah Ledge, but if it's a Dark Terra just has Dark Moves thing, Clefable pretty much walls it. Where's their speed control? They just have fast Pokemon. That's their speed control. So actually Flygon putting up Tailwind could be pretty good. Maybe next to Glimora? We Grass? Yeah, we're Grass Terra with Energy Ball, so that's good into Primarina. Meteor Beam is good into most things. Including Magmar if it gets redirected. Amoongus, not bad into Sneasler. Not bad into their team overall, except Magmar could be a uh, Vital Spirit. Which would ruin everything Amoongus wants to do. I do like Sarah Ledge a bit. It's not the worst. Uh, and then I think I need Rillaboom, honestly good into Primarina, but my team isn't that weak into Primarina. No, I'm gonna do Amoongus. I'm gonna trust Amoongus to do well here. We've got enough stuff that doesn't worry about Magmar, but if we can take out Magmar before Amoongus hits the field, maybe we're alright. It has the redirection, at least. They don't have a trainer card, come on. Honestly, I just want Flygon to do something. Might not be in the cards. Uh, we could double protect here just to scout what they're trying to pull. I don't think they would have fake out Sneasler. Yeah, I'm gonna double protect, just see if I can bait something out of them. No Terra. Seemingly no Protect, unless Primarina's protecting? Oh, they do have Fake Out. Perfect. I'll take that. And then they Moonblast. Okay. Got some decent chip there. Uh, I think Tailwind is... Fine. Do I want some damage into Primarina? I'm worried about pulling Terra Grass, because they wouldn't Dire Claw this turn. Yeah, they wouldn't Dire Claw. Do I need the Tailwind? Does it matter? I don't know. I think I want to go for Earth Power into Sneasler, actually. Terra Grass Energy Ball to Primarina. Meteor Beam would do a lot too, but I'm worried about missing it. And I'm worried I might want to save my Meteor Beam for later in the game. If Earth Power can knock out Sneasler, first of all, awesome. Well done, Flygun. But then, this Grass Terra doesn't really cost me much. And they are going for a Terra of their own. They only felt safe, I guess. Into Poison. Ah! 
I guess they felt safe because they were faking out turn one. But this means you're now weak to earth power. CC into Flygon is fine. We have a Sash anyway. And you dropping your special defense means earth power is going to KO you now for sure. Oh, and they're poison touch. Yikes. Well, I'm glad you're gone. And I hope you doubled into Flygon. Hmm, I guess it would be Hyper Voice, right? Eh, that won't do much to Glamora. Flygon did something! Yay! Can I get a special defense drop or something? That was okay damage. I just Moonblast. Okay, so... We stay completely untouched. We don't get our Toxic Spikes yet. I mean, Primarina doesn't do anything into a Moongus, where Seraledge has to worry a bit. I think I'll go a Moongus first. Of course they have Magmar, so. Gonna go right back, <laughs> gonna swap right out, gonna go into Seraledge. Um, or am I? If Meteor Beam can knock out Magmar, I can spore the Primarina. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Like, yeah, you can follow me, but you're gonna take a hit. You could protect to waste out my power. But if you don't protect both... Yeah, you didn't. they didn't protect both, so they're not gonna get to avoid the spore. Unless they're Goggles Primarina? Yes, that could be a thing. Yep, you got me to waste my power. Good job. Moonblast the Glamora. And we do take a special attack drop for that. So that was completely wasted. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Love it. Gotta wear down this Magmar. Uh, I'm gonna try to Pollen Puff myself. Should I try to Spore them? I don't see why not. They could be Flame Body. And I'll Sludge Bomb into the Magmar. They overheat. Okay. Goodbye, Glamora. If we can keep Primarina asleep long enough, Sarah Ledge can win. But otherwise, we're in trouble. Also matters if they're Vital Spirit or not. Primarina takes its first sleep turn. And they are, in fact, Vital Spirit Magmar. Okay. They'll have Hyper Voice as soon as they wake up, which I don't like. But my best play is Spore on Primarina and Poltergeist into it. They should probably be going for Follow Me here trying to get Primarina to wake up. But if they get greedy and want to like overheat or swap out, oh they did get greedy and overheated, cool. So even if you wake up you're going right back to sleep. And I get a Poltergeist which is great. Citrus Berry, won't be able to do that again. It's a critical hit! Beautiful. That's be- I love that. I love that so much. If their last mod can't handle Sarah Ledge, we got this. this. Magmar cannot handle Sarah Ledge. And is at minus four now. Oh, Catapultra. They could Phantom Force, they could Dragon Darts. They cannot Terra Blast. They could have Outrage. I think I want to protect both this turn. See what they lock into, because usually these things are choice. They go for Phantom Force, I can redirect it and then try to 
poltergeist them, but they'll redirect my poltergeist. They went for Phantom Force, but not follow me, so I could have got a free hit on Magmar here. Now I have to Rage Powder. Alright, if I Rage Powder and Poltergeist Magmar, Magmar lives. Can I take another one? We'll find out. I'll try to Poltergeist into their Dragapult. Are, are they letting me? Wait, that's not a good idea. They're gonna let me hit Dragapult! I missed the Dragapult! No! They threw! They threw and I missed! Magmar can't touch me! We've seen all four moves! If I connect that, I win! No! I have to hope bulk up I can take it. I Why are you using follow me now? I guess in case I had Shadow Sneak. Ugh. Ugh. Now I have to live this and then some. Cause I missed Poltergeist. Yeah, they just follow me. That's game over. GG. Oh man! They threw and I missed! Bye, Sarah Ledge! Ugh. Ugh. Well, GG. Uh, they should have had that one locked down if they had clicked the correct buttons. So I'm just gonna pretend they clicked the correct buttons. And I'm gonna pretend you had a trainer card. Get out of here. Alright, we've got... Ooh, a Como-O team. That's cool. They've got Farigraph, Blood Moon, Ursa Luna, Rillaboom, Incineroar, Sinistra. So they've got two Trick Room users, two Fake Out users, a Redirection user, and a Blood Moon, Ursa Luna. I think that Como O is going to try to set something up. Maybe Iron Defense on that team? Could be Clangorous Soul too, since they have the healing from Sinistra to make up for the, he the health they're losing. Clefable doesn't care, but Clefable also doesn't have a fairy move. But it would at least bait out a Terra. And then how do I beat a Como O that's boosted? They're probably Overcoat, so Amoongus does nothing. Glamora might be able to do something, depending on their Terra type. Flygon as well could at least like bait out a Terra. Double Fake Out makes me want to bring Amoongus, but they've got too many immunities. And then there's like Farigarath, they could just go a Trick Room mode. Uh, I guess it has to be Sarah Ledge. I should try to bulk up as much as I can with Sarah Ledge. Have Clefable, Glamora. Maybe Glamora first. Try to get some Toxic Debris down. Clefable, Sarah Ledge, and Flygon just because it can actually hit stuff. Yeah, Dragon Ground is good coverage into Como O because their Terra types are usually something weak to ground. Because they want to resist fairy, and everything that resists fairy is weak to ground. And they don't have a trainer card. Now positioning Flygon to hit the Como, oh, that's another story. Oh, they don't even leave. Okay. I guess we can double protect here. The only fear would be, like, Calm Mind or Saluna, but who, who does that? I can Spiky Shield protect pretty safely. All you can do is, like, pivot in something better. Oh, they're gonna burn Terra right away. Cool. Love it. It's on Ursa Luna. It is. I can Meteor Beam you now. That's cool. Maybe I will. Uh, but next turn. Let's, uh, let's worry about this Fake Out first. I really hope it's a Blood Moon into Clefable. Then you can't do that next turn. And follow me feels really free. Fake out is into Clefable, so maybe that's an Earth Power then. Nope, Hyper Voice. Just Hyper Voice, huh? Alright. 
Maybe you were trying to read a Terra there. That's fine. Since you've already burned Terra, I could Meteor Beam into the Ensign. Try to get rid of that. But what does that get me? I would much rather Meteor Beam into Ursa Luna for some damage. And I'll just follow me in case there is an Earth Power or... Ah! ah! Well, there goes my Meteor Beam. I don't like Meteor Beam. I was I was gonna use Meteor Beam Armor Rouge in the GC, but then like stuff like this kept happening. I either got my item knocked off, or launched it into Protect, or missed it entirely. And then I just ah, such a pain. So you're saying I could have taken Incineroar for free there? Nice. Well, there's no way they Earth Power, at least. After the follow me. Well, let's see who they bring in. If they just bring in Rillaboom. No, it's Brigoraf. Okay. Don't really mind that. I think it's Sludge Bomb the Ursaluna. Didn't see speed tiers between Clefable and that yet. Don't want to swap anything in. I do want damage on the Ursaluna, though. That's the most important thing. Sludge Bomb. Could just be Protect. There's no way they go for Earth Power. Yeah, Protect should be free. But then again, I thought the Meteor Beam would be free. They just want to read me every turn and Earth Power here. Good on them. No, it's Hyper Voice. Perfect. Could get hit by a Psychic move. Could get Trick Roomed on. Shouldn't do half the Glamora. Psychic move would hurt, I guess. But then we're still faster. Yeah, Trick Room is fine. Now it's what, uh, Blood Moon plus something? Like, I'm gonna Sludge Bomb you, and I'm going to... Follow me. Like, you should maybe Blood Moon Clefable here. Maybe this should have been... Maybe this should have been a Terra on Glamora. The Psychic would take us out from here? Because this Urza Luna is causing problems. Psychic noise. Can we eat that, Glamora? No, we cannot. Um, yeah. Should have seen the Blood Moon coming. Should have Terra there. And they've got Throat Spray. Okay. We still have Terra left, though. Which might help us. Might not. Who's to say? Terra Sarah Ledge. Bitter Blade KO the Ursa Luna. Just protect Flygon to preserve its Sash. I'm really hoping for an Earth Power, but it's gonna be a Hyper Voice. If I knew who the Ferrigoraph was going to attack, I would feel a lot better. It could be double Hyper Voice, even. That would maybe even KO Sarah Ledge, and then we just lose. Uh, Ursa Luna did go for Hyper Voice. Can't fault a good play. Do you go down to your life orb yet? Nah. Oh, and Ferrigraph went for Hyper Voice too? Yeah, this, this this guy just playing better. Yep, goodbye Sarah Ledge. And Flygon's not going to be able to win this, even if we get out of Trick Room. <laughs> uh, well... No, they got Incineroar left, they got, yeah, Flygon. Let's get out of here. GG to my opponent. They, they played, they made the right play every turn. They made a better play than me every turn. Cancel. GG. Go get a trainer card, though. And we are back. Sarah Ledge, definitely the star of the show. Flygon did stuff sometimes?
I think it did like one thing ever, actually. So maybe this isn't a fly gun showcase. It's a Sarah showcase. <laughs> but anyways, I enjoyed this team a lot. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, Crusadia, thank you very much. Go ahead and try this if you haven't yet. Make sure to like and subscribe and all that stuff. Uh, but anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, all right, peace.